the life of the super rich. We want to introduce you to Roland Paxino, the German shooting star who is starting to realize his vision, building a quality city in Ajman. Roman had had an exciting night, and now the two-year-old lion is very nervous. We are in the Arabian desert in the palace of the Prince of Ajman. Raman is the favorite pussycat of His Highness Prince Rashid. We like to play with him and love to scare other people. His stately home is just a huge dream from an Arabian fairy tale. How he lives and how he is earning his millions, we will show you in a minute. Roland Paxino, building contractor, multi-millionaire, adventurer from Frankfurt, Germany. For the sheikhs, he is constructing magnificent towers and villas. And the best, he also delivers the magnificent interiors with it. My name is Roland Paxino. I live in Dubai and I want to tell you my success story. Sorry, can I ask you something? Are we taking the highway? Some orientation problems in the Rolls Royce of the German businessman Roland Paxino. For sure, it's not easy to find one's way in the traffic jungle of Dubai. Roland Paxino is planning big things in the country of the desert suns. I want to build a German city in the heart of Ajman because there are a couple of advantages against Dubai. Ajman has a distance of 30 minutes to Dubai. Soon there will be a new marina and a new airport. Dubai is finished. The prices are exhausted and there's no property available for a reasonable price. For a comparison, you can buy a villa in Ajman for the same price as a two-bedroom apartment in Dubai. Today he has an important meeting with the Prince of Ajman. They will be discussing projects worth billions. Paxina stays cool and even has time to socialize. Mr. Paxino, how do you greet a prince? It is common to address him as His Highness. Now it's time to meet the Prince of Ajman. 23 year old, attractive, studied at the best universities worldwide. Prince Rolex will inherit a fortune of millions from his father, the ruler of Ajman. We will build a second Monte Carlo, with the difference that it will be more modern, progressive, and also have a more professional technique. The Arabian prince has a quirk. He colors all of his cars black and orange. I love it. My lifestyle is black and orange, so all my cars are the same colors. That's how it goes in Dubai. After the business meeting, Roland Paxino is invited to the exceptional palace of Prince Rashid. His palace is in the middle of the desert. The design reminds you of the Middle Ages, of course, all in black. Inside is an oasis of tasteful European designs. It is absolutely my style, exactly what I also show in my showroom. I like the modern combined with the traditional. I really do like it a lot. We try to learn everything about the international lifestyle and find out all about the designers and architects. We are working with a couple of Arabic designers who have connections to Italian artists. Highness, do you still have the time to decide what designs you want yourself or do you have staff to help you? Of course, I'm still searching on my own, but I also have a team of my own designers who are working with me. How many people are working for you and your family? A lot. A lot. 
In every season we are hunting. The season starts in September, ending in March. There are a lot of birds coming to the country, and with our falcons we are hunting them. We also import a lot of falcons from Germany. The ruler of Ajman is the prince of an Arabian fairy tale. But who is his princess? His Highness is not married yet, and suddenly an unexpected statement. He can imagine the idea of being married to a European woman. Don't you think it's time to marry a European princess? Our religion offers us the choice to marry any woman from another religion, so we are open for it. We are again in the palace of Ajman with His Highness, who has an obsession for black and orange. All his sports cars, all 35 of them, his fitness studio, and of course his prayer rooms are all in black and orange. But this is just one of his ticks. Today, he will introduce us to his best friend. The prince is an owner of a two-year-old male lion, who he takes for walks just like a dog. I have had him for six months now. Come a little closer. They are having fun and joking around. The cute animal has of course his own trainer. These pictures remind us of Seafried and Roy in Las Vegas. He is very polite, very nice. He has an amazing time here. His name is Raman and later on in our shots we meet this charming big cat again, together with his animal trainer. Driven in the back of his trainer's car, it looks like Lassie is inside. So, you are driving the lion around, and what do people think if they see it? Big cat. <laughs> the prince has invited his new business partner, the German millionaire and architect. Robert Paxino for dinner. Paxino knows if he wants to make business in Dubai, he has to share the Sheikh's lifestyle and has to adjust to their private concerns. We are planning to create 30 to 35 towers on the coast and we will also establish new artificial islands for private investors. We are talking about an investment of up to 50 billion euros in the next two years. For Paxino, it was a successful meeting. The prince indicates indirectly his support for Paxino's plans. The German businessman is very confident with the result. Next day, we have an appointment with the successful businessman. We meet him on one of the many construction sites in Dubai. Paxino is currently constructing a big tower here. This tower was actually sold after just five months. Are all the investors who have money now settling down in Dubai? The people living in Dubai are no different than people living anywhere else in the world. Everyone is thinking about what they can get for their money. We deliver German quality with a different benchmark. We are German suppliers and developers, so of course the people have to pay a little more. 